welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. So, today, I'm not even kidding you, I have been driving on dirt roads, getting progressively worse and worse for probably an hour now. I mean, I am out in the absolute middle of nowhere, and I'm going back to the super remote creek. I've got probably another two to three mile hike down to where the creek is. I'm on a ridge top right now. This was like the closest access road, and I say closest as in like, I didn't realize how hard it was to, to get here. But I made it, I'm here. I'm gonna hike down and hopefully find the creek, fish it. I've never fished here before in my life. Should be native brookies in there, in it. Past that, I have absolutely no clue. Could be who knows what is in here. It's a very, very remote stream, and I'm by myself today. Nobody with me. So. It's gonna be an interesting, interesting little experience. If I don't make this video, it's because I need to make it out of here, out of here alive. But anyway, I'm gonna go back in here, hopefully catch some fish. It's 9.30. I woke up early this morning and it took forever to get here. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Made it to the creek. It took me probably 40, 45 minutes, about approximately a two mile hike down that trail, which wasn't much of a trail, but it was marked, so better than nothing. What I'm gonna do is it's 1040-ish. I'm gonna hike down the creek until about noon. If I know if I hike for about an hour, that's probably two to three hours of fishing. And then I'll get up here and then I will fish up maybe another hour or so and then turn around that way. I'm not like getting too far from the trail out of here since I'm in the middle of nowhere. And um, when I get down here at noon, I will eat lunch and then start fishing. So I'll probably hike for about an hour-ish, give or take. Depends on what the creek looks like, depends on how far away from the creek the trail gets and stuff like that. Oh, and one other thing, this shirt right here that I'm wearing, you've probably seen me wear this shirt a lot. It's in a lot of videos. They're from, this shirt is from SoFly and super cool company. This is like a bamboo shirt. It's really cool. It's got a cool little design on the back. Fly, fly design on the back and everything else. So go check them out. I'm gonna leave their site linked in the description below, but super cool shirt. So if you're like, want some like athletic type fishing gear, I would definitely check them out. I recommend it. But anyway, I'm gonna head down here for about an hour and then eat lunch. So just, I'm walking down here. I've been walking for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I came down to this big hole and I look in this flat rock and there's three, I assume they're brook trout. And I mean, if they're brook trout, if these are like native brook trout, they're big. <laughs> One of them's like 12, 13 inches, at least 12 inches. And there's several of them. I might try to flick my dry fly in there and see if they hit it. I'm not gonna like spook them, spook them, but I might can make one cast. See if one hits it, and then just to see what they are. If they don't hit it, then I'll just hit the hole on the way back up, but some nice fish. <laughs> some really nice fish. Okay guys, so the fish are in this hole right here. I'm using these bushes here as cover. The bigger fish are kind of back, but I can see some sitting right in front of me. Oh, I see a real big one actually, I lied. <laughs> I don't know how spooky these fish are gonna be. So I'm trying to stay way the heck back. Oh, there's two big ones right there. It's gonna be a tough cast though. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm basically gonna have to make like a really long bow cast. And just hope.
They didn't even move at it. I don't know if I gotta cast up further. Like what's really going on. Got him. Big one. Big one. It's one of the big ones. It's one of the big ones. It's a brook trout. Oh, buddy. Oh, gosh. Stay pegged. It was one of the big ones. It's a nice fish. Dude, he came up and destroyed that. It's a really nice fish. one of the big ones. I can't believe I just sight casted this fish. Healthy fish. Pretty fish too. Come on. Ooh. Dude, that is a monster brook trout, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monster brook trout, dude. I we'll have to measure him. He might be 12 inches. <laughs> Look at that fish. Just incredible native brook trout. I'm gonna measure him real quick, but he's just fat. Jeez. I mean, <laughs> first fish of the day, I measured it at 11 and a half inches. Healthy fish too. I mean, just unbelievable fish. And the funny thing is, is that there were three others that were like in that same general size range. I don't know if he was the biggest. I don't think he was. I think he was just kind of even with the others. Um, that's literally, I just saw them swimming around in circles. There's like 20 of them there. And I just cast it to the big one and he came up and destroyed it. I couldn't believe it. But um, that's first fish of the day. <laughs> and I haven't even gone down to eat lunch. So I'm gonna keep walking and um, yeah, actually go eat, eat lunch this time. But I mean, that is just a treat of a fish. You don't get to catch native brook trout that size very often. But you know, I've walked far enough down in here to deserve to catch a fish like that. Cause it's lunch time. Um, I've seen some fish starting to hit some dries in here, including this hole that is literally right in front of me and I saw a big brook trout in here but I spooked it walking down here but I have some nice shade this overhanging tree and I'm just gonna eat lunch watch see if this brook trout comes back out if not it's not a huge deal and I'm gonna try and start fishing up it is noon on the dot so uh, yeah I'm just gonna relax eat lunch and hopefully catch some big brook trout on the way out of here like that one I just caught earlier Got him. Got him. Shoo wee. Finally got one, boy. <laughs> We've literally been here for like 30 minutes. Honestly, not a terrible fish. I've certainly seen smaller. Certainly. Adios, friend. <laughs> Some big ones, like literally there. I can see a, I see like a 10 inch land. I'm gonna cast over there again. That fish did not learn, did it? Second fish. <laughs> Slay a clock, baby. Who's fighting? It's a decent one. Bigger than I thought he was, honestly. He's a real nice fish, actually. It's probably six to eight. God, I wonder how big those ones were that I was screwing around with. 
how pretty he is. It's two in a row after sitting here for 30 minutes. Thanks, buddy. Just hooked a nice one, guys. Real nice one. Literally just right here in front of this rock. Man, it's a beautiful fit, honestly. Come here, bud. Yes, sir. He's a pretty one. Look at that one. Beautiful fish. Oops. Chill out. Can I just unhook you and then you can literally do whatever you want? There you go. He gone. <laughs> literally, guys. It's coming up to this big hole. I'm going to just keep the GoPro on for that, but literally caught it right here in front of this rock. Shouldn't have spent so long at that one hole. Literally just wasted a bunch of time and accomplished nothing and heard a loud noise that's probably a bear. And so that's my life. If I could, whoops. No, that was a big one. Oh, I saw him come up slow motion and eat that. Oh, it's a big one too. Here's a 10 inch or so. You son of a gun. He pulled me straight into that log. Had no chance. Another one. Not the big one, but I'll take the fish, man. Had to work that log. Hey there, buddy. What you doing? Boy, these fish fight. What a pretty fish. That one really is unbelievable. Man. It's not the pick of this guy. Chill. Oh, came off. Never mind. <laughs> That's what I get. <clears throat> oh well. Knew there'd be one in there. I'm happy with that. I got a hole just above this, so let's just keep moving. guys the gopro is about to die but i just hooked a giant trout and i don't know if the cape big camera's recording it's a giant So I just caught, <clears throat> I mean, that's just a massive native brook trout. Came in at 12 and a half inches. It was actually probably just a tad over 12 and a half, but wasn't quite 13. Um, so it's not my personal best native, but that's the biggest native I've caught in like two or three years. I mean, I was recording with this camera down there. My GoPro batteries, like they're all dead because I've been recording and like trying to catch these fish and the water's like super clear and um, they're kind of spooky. So I was recording with this camera down there. My GoPro was dead. I tried to get like a little shot of the fish as it was fighting just to have uh, have something. But um, I know that this camera stops recording because it stops recording at 10 minutes and I know that I had like changed flaws like three times. So I knew it wasn't recording. And I like cast it up at the head, like near where this waterfall is. My dry fly's coming down and I see just this massive mouth just open, set the hook. I was like, oh my gosh, it's just incredible. So I've caught an 11 and a half and a 12 and a half inch native today. I guess I'm going to keep fishing. I'm going to try to do as good as I can and trying to get some fish on film. But um, I honestly, it's weird because I can't really predict. I mean, obviously this hole's huge, but it's been hard to predict the fish. Like I'll go through one hole and see nothing and then I'll go through a hole that doesn't look as good and there's like 20 fish in it. So I don't know. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I'm going to keep going on. Personal best native for the year. And uh, yeah, this is easily one of the best creeks I've ever fished for native brook trout.
This one's a particularly pretty fish. I mean, look at the colors on that one. The worms, worm lines on his back. Pretty blood red halos. Or blue halos, blood red spots. That's a specimen right there. Here for the release. Bye, buddy. just caught another giant brookie it should be on it should be on um, slow-mo can you please sir there it is guys it's an 11 inch fish right there beautiful native I mean realistically I don't get much better than that All right, that one should all be in slow motion. I set up the camera to specifically fish this hole because I saw an undercut rock there. Did not catch a fish under the undercut rock, but I ended up catching one. That one was 11 inches, or a little over 11 inches, right here. He just barely sipped it. I didn't think it was very big. I set the hook and I was like, wow. So, um, this creek's just incredible. I think it's actually getting better as the time's going on. I mean, it's uh, 420. Probably only have about an hour and a half before I'm gonna have to walk out of here because if I don't, I may not make it out of here at all. So, uh, yeah, got an hour and a half left of fishing. Hopefully we'll catch another couple of 11s like that. I mean, this is just incredible. I mean, literally incredible. It's a true gem. It is 6.05. I made it back to where I very first started. I was gonna fish up a little bit because I can see a couple holes right here, but six o'clock, that was my cutoff. Always stick to your cutoff because I know that it takes me 45 minutes to an hour to hike out of here and it's all uphill, so it might take me longer. Gotta get to my car and then I know I have an hour drive on dirt road before I hit service. And I would like to do all of that before it gets dark. So I'm gonna hike out of here and they'll do an update at the car. Awesome day, I caught an 11, two fish that were around 11, 11 and a half, and then one that was 12 and a half. So, I mean, for native brook trout, that's about, I mean, that's better than, <laughs> that's as good as it gets. It doesn't get much better than that. So, hope you guys have enjoyed so far, and um, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. So I made it back up to the vehicle, but I was so exhausted from hiking out of there because it was about two miles uphill that I never shot any outros. I didn't film myself getting out of there. I just left, drove home, and then I passed out because I put on about 30 miles that weekend, which absolutely killed me. I think that particular day, I went just a little over 15 miles in total. So it was definitely a hike, but I think it was well worth it to catch those giant brook trout. And that creek was just, it was crazy. I'm definitely going to go back there, but I don't think I'll go back there for another couple months probably. And when I do go back in there, I'm probably going to camp it and explore a little bit more of it because I barely scratched the surface of the creek. I thought this was a good follow-up to the Goliath video because a lot of what I learned from watching Goliath and fishing that creek repetitively over and over and over again and seeing the brook trout and how they acted and stuff came into play big time when I was out there fishing this other creek because they acted very similarly and it required very similar casts to catch them and stuff like that. So I thought this was a good follow up to just kind of show, you know, normally if I deleted the Goliath series, this would be the only video you would see. And I think just having that Goliath series makes this video a lot more meaningful. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't, go check out the Goliath series and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.